Kindly be seated. Governor General Designate, Ms. Marcella Liburd. Honorable Prime Minister, Dr. Terence Michael Drew. Honorable Speaker of the National Assembly, Ms. Lanine Blanchett. Your Ladyship, Tamara Gill, Resident High Court Judge. The Honorable Dr. Jeffrey Hanley, Deputy Prime Minister and Minister of Education, Youth, Social Development, Gender Affairs, Aging and Disabilities. The Honorable Senator Garth Wilkin, Attorney General and Minister of Justice and Legal Affairs. The Right Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, Minister of Foreign Affairs, Economic Development, International Trade, Investment, Industry and Commerce. The Honorable Conway Maynard, Minister of Public Infrastructure and Utilities, Transport, Information, Communication and Technology and Posts. The Honorable Marsha Henderson, Minister of Tourism, Civil Aviation, International Transport, Employment and Labor, and Urban Development. The Honorable Samal Duggins, Minister of Agriculture, Fisheries, Marine Resources, Entrepreneurship, Cooperatives, and Creative Economy. The Honorable Senator Dr. Joel Clark, Minister of Sustainable Development, Environment, Climate Action, and Constituency Empowerment. The Honorable Senator Iselin Phillip, Junior Minister with Responsibility for Youth Empowerment, Social Development, Gender Affairs, Aging and Disabilities. Dr. Marcus Natter, Cabinet Secretary. Ms. Thelma Richard, Head of Civil Service, National and Special Advisors. Guests of Governor General's Designate, a pleasant evening to all. And welcome to Government House tonight for a very, very simple and yet very important ceremony that shall be happening in a few moments. It is simple. The, her Ladyship, our resident High Court Judge, Tamara Gill, will be administering the oaths of allegiance and the oath of office. Our Governor General does not do the oath of secrecy as our parliamentarians do. And it is very significant because we are here to witness the swearing in, the signing of the oaths of our fifth Governor General as an independent state of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis, but more importantly, our first female Governor General of the Federation of St. Christopher and Nevis. The timing, most persons thought that it was an error when it should have said 11.50 a.m. People were calling up here saying, um, but I'm not seeing anything. I said, please read carefully. It says p.m. And that is when everybody said, oh. But anyway, it is so nice to see everybody here looking so fresh-faced so late in the night. So thank you, thank you for coming for this very, very important ceremony. It is just about a few moments before the end of January 31st, which signals the end of the Governor General, His Excellency Sir Tapley Seaton, who sends his regrets. He also extends his very best wishes to our Governor General designate, Ms. Marcella Liburd. And I guess tonight being simple, because as you can look out, those of you who would have come, you're going to see that we have already started the prep for Saturday afternoon slash evening when we will be having the installation ceremony of our first female governor general in the person of at that time she will already be 
Her Excellency, Ms. Marcella Liebert. So I am so happy to have all of you here today, this night, for this nice, simple ceremony. So now, please stand. I invite our ladies to stand, as you recognize this is a ladies' night. And both oaths will be administered in succession. Very well, very well, and congratulations, Your Excellency, Miss Marcella Liebert, JP, Governor General of St. Christopher and Nevis.
And yes, gentle folks, this is the end of the business part of making our first female Governor General of St. Christopher and Nevis. So I now invite our guests, led by our Governor General, Her Excellency, Ms. Marcella Leibel, to the porch for a firework display. 